Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, multi-sided uh, blue shape, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, all these uh, angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees each. And here's our task. How many ways are possible to draw a single straight line that will divide uh, this given figure equally? And don't forget to justify your answer. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to divide this given complex figure into two simple figures. In other words, two rectangles. And here's our very first step. If I draw this line such that this straight line is parallel to this line, then we can see that we have divided this uh, complex shape into these uh, two rectangles, this simple rectangle and this another uh, simple uh, rectangle. And here's our next step. Now we are going to find the midpoint uh, of each of these uh, rectangles. In other words, uh, we are going to find the midpoint uh, of this uh, rectangle and likewise we are going to find the midpoint of this uh, rectangle as well. And now let me show you how to find the midpoint of each of these uh, rectangles. Let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle and we are going to draw two diagonals. And here I have drawn these two diagonals uh, of this uh, rectangle. And both of these rectangles uh, intersect each other at this uh, point. And this point is called uh, our midpoint or sometimes we call it uh, center of this uh, rectangle. So thus we figured out our uh, midpoint uh, of this uh, rectangle and now let's focus on this uh, other rectangle and we are going to find the midpoint of this rectangle as well and we are going to draw the diagonals for this triangle as well and here are the diagonals and these two diagonals intersect each other at this uh, point so therefore uh, this point is going to be the midpoint uh, of this uh, rectangle and here's our uh, next step now we are going to connect uh, these uh, two midpoints and here's our uh, single uh, straight line that connects uh, these uh, two midpoints so therefore we can see that this uh, single uh, straight line is going to divide this given uh, shape into two equal parts, this part uh, is going to be equal to this uh, other part. So thus we figured out our this uh, first option. And here's our next option. We are going to draw this uh, straight line such that uh, this uh, straight line is parallel to this side. Now we can see that this uh, straight line uh, divides this uh, shape into two simple rectangles. This is uh, the first rectangle and this is uh, the second uh, simple rectangle. And now our next step is to calculate the midpoints of each of these uh, rectangles. Let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle. We are going to draw the diagonals and here are our two diagonals and these two diagonals intersect each other uh, at uh, this point and this point is called uh, our midpoint and now we are going to focus on this other rectangle and we are going to figure out the midpoint of this uh, rectangle as well and here are the two diagonals for this uh, rectangle and these two diagonals intersect each other at this point and this is our another uh, midpoint so thus we are ended up with these two midpoints and now we are going to connect uh, these two midpoints and as a result we get this uh, single uh, straight line by connecting uh, these two midpoints and this uh, single uh, straight line uh, is going to divide this figure into two equal parts this uh, part uh, is going to be equal to this uh, other part so therefore uh, this is our another option and now i am going to show you our third option and once again we are going to follow these uh, three rules and this time we are going to think outside the box 
and here I have constructed uh, another uh, rectangle and as a result we are ended up with this uh, whole big uh, rectangle and now let's focus on this uh, simple uh, rectangle we are going to find the midpoint of this uh, rectangle so let's go ahead and draw the diagonals and here are our two diagonals for this uh, rectangle and these two diagonals intersect each other at this uh, point and this is going to be our midpoint for uh, this uh, rectangle and now let's focus uh, on this uh, big uh, rectangle we are going to find the midpoint of this uh, rectangle as well and now we are going to draw the diagonals for this rectangle as well and here are our these uh, two diagonals for this uh, rectangle and these two diagonals intersect each other at uh, this uh, point and this is our another midpoint so thus we are ended up with these uh, two midpoints and now we are going to connect uh, these two midpoints and as a result we are ended up with this uh, single uh, straight line by connecting these two midpoints now we can see that this uh, single straight line uh, divides uh, this given shape into two equal parts this uh, part and uh, this uh, part uh, as well and here we can see this is our third option so thus we got uh, three different uh, possible options and here are our uh, three options and that's our final answer and if you find any other option please leave your answer in the comment box thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye